with the new chapter inside our earth now we are going to discuss in detail about the following first we will discuss about the interior of the earth that is about the crust the mantle and the core then we will move on to discuss about the various types of rocks which are namely the igneous rocks the sedimentary rocks and the metamorphic rocks and lastly we will talk about the rock cycle interior of the earth so in interior of the earth we shall be discussing about the crust the mantle and the core the crust so the interior of the earth is made up of several concentric layers with one inside the another however the uppermost layer over the earth's surface is called the crust it is the thinnest of all the layers and it is about 35 kilometers on the continental masses whereas it is just 5 kilometers on the ocean floors and the main mineral constituents of the continental mass are the silica and the alumina therefore it is even called cl c from silica and l from alumina now the oceanic crust mainly consists of silica and magnesium and therefore it is called sima again c from silica and ma from magnesium so this was about the crust which was the uppermost layer of the earth this is the mantle now mantle lies just beneath the crust that means it is the second layer which is lying next to the crust now it extends up to a depth of 2900 km below the crust so this was about the mantle and now finally we will move on to talk about the core which is the third most layer the innermost layer of the co earth is the core which uh, which has a radius of about 3500 km now it is mainly made up of nickel and iron and therefore it is called knife again ni from nickel and fe from ferrous that means iron ferrous is also known as iron now the central core has very high temperature and pressure the crust forms only 1% of the volume of the earth and 84% consists of the mantle whereas the core makes just the 15% now what are the basic facts about the earth the radius of the earth is 6371 km and the deepest mine in the world is in south africa which is about 4 km deep now in search for oil engineers have dug a hole about 6 km deep It's about the rocks so the earth's crust is made up of various types of rocks any natural mass of mineral matter that makes up the earth's crust is called a rock hence rocks are made up of different minerals and they can be of different color different size and they may even vary in texture so on the basis of all of these things the rocks are divided into three major types namely the igneous rocks the sedimentary rocks and the metamorphic rocks so let us discuss each of these now so first we will talk about the igneous rock now when the molten magma cools it becomes solid rocks thus formed are called the igneous rocks they are also called the primary rocks and igneous rocks can further be divided into two types that is the intrusive rocks and the extrusive rocks first the intrusive igneous rocks now when sometimes the molten magma cools down deep inside the earth's crust then the solid rocks which are formed are called the intrusive igneous rocks now since they cool down slowly they form large grains an example of this type of rock could be granite grinding stones which are used to prepare paste or powder of spices and grains are also made of granite so this was about the intrusive rocks now we shall discuss about the extrusive igneous rocks now when the molten lava comes on the earth's surface then it cools down rapidly and it becomes solid so the rocks which are formed in such a way on the crust are called the extrusive igneous rocks 
So what could be the examples of extrusive igneous rocks? An example of this type would be basalt. And where are these basalt found? They are found in the Deccan Plateau which is made up of basalt rocks. Let us move on to discuss about the sedimentary rocks. Now rocks which roll down, crack and hit each other are broken down into small fragments. These small particles are called sediments. And when these sediments are transported and deposited by wind, water etc. Then these loose sediments are compressed and hardened to form various layers of rocks. So though these types of rocks are called the sedimentary rocks. Now for example sandstone is made from grains of sand. So these rocks may also contain fossils of plants, animals and other microorganisms that once lived on them. Now the igneous and the sedimentary rocks can change into metamorphic rocks under great heat and pressure. For example, clay changes into slate and limestone changes into marble. Now we will discuss about the rock cycle. One type of rock when it changes to another type under certain conditions in a cyclic manner then this process of transformation of the rock from one to another is known as the rock cycle. When the molten magma cools it solidifies to become igneous rocks and when these igneous rocks are broken down into small particles and are transported and deposited to form the sedimentary rocks. And when both the igneous and the sedimentary rocks are subjected to heat and pressure, then they change into the metamorphic rocks. So we see that there is a cycle from igneous to sedimentary to metamorphic. And the metamorphic rocks, which are still under great heat and pressure, melt down to form the molten magma. And this molten magma can again cool down and solidify into igneous rock. So here we see the rock cycle where the igneous rocks changed into sedimentary rocks which in turn changed into the metamorphic rocks which can again change into the igneous rocks. So this is about the rock cycle.